City. Okay. Uh, Pep's also said that it's normal to say City aren't the same and it's over. Mm. Let's prove them wrong. Okay. That there's this whole feeling that, oh, maybe City aren't going to win the league, but are that many people actually saying that? We're looking at the odds here right now. I don't, I don't know how many people are saying that, but what I would say is that I think today, going into halftime, it was a critical time for Manchester City. They're losing the game one nothing. They have been winless in the month. They're having difficulties finding consistency in their game, finding results. And for them to dig and to grind, which is, I think, what they did in the second half, just grind and grind themselves into a result, I think maybe this pushes them forward. Manchester City, I think, are still the favorites. But we need to see continuity in their game, consistency in their game, control in their game, actually controlling the match with the quality of their possession and taking that possession into the attacking half, creating opportunities and scoring goals, which is something that I guess we take for granted from Manchester City, but it just hasn't happened all that often. And when they are creating goals, they're doing that in sacrificing their defensive shape. And that's when they get in the back and forth and they lose control of matches. They have to get back to controlling the game with the quality of their possession and the quality of their movement. They do that, Manchester City wins this league. If not, then it does open the door to who I think should be the second favorite, Liverpool. Oh, we'll get to Stevie in just a moment. I want to know who Frank thinks are favorites. Who are your favorites for the Premier League title, Frank? Uh, I still go for City, but I, I see a more open uh, and doubtful um, thought about uh, about that title race because last season you know even if Arsenal was at the top and for a long period you could feel that at a certain point City will be back I'm not that sure Liverpool is going to fight Arsenal is more complete and and don't forget the villains I mean I, I, it's a surprise and like you see Girona in uh, in Spain you know surprising everybody why the villains wouldn't do the same in the Premier League? It happened with Leicester. It can happen. It happened with Lille again in Paris with the League One. So I want to hope that, you know, something can change. And seeing Aston Villa uh, fighting with the others, it's, it's nice. It's nice. And, and if, it can, if they can achieve something, that would be great. So City is still the favourites, but I think it's, an, uh, it's a real open, open race. The City are the favourites, but Liverpool are leading right now. Stevie in the table. Yeah, but I, I find it really difficult to separate the three of them. I, I don't think Villa's going to win it. I think it's between Liverpool, Arsenal and City. And I guess I guess the old line that we start the season with was, if you finish above City, you'll be Premier League champions. And I guess that line still today is, is how you should look at it. But I just I can't separate the three of them. There, there's no question. This, what we saw this weekend is going to continue till May. Because I don't think there's one of them is going to just take off and, and, and separate themselves. So, fortunately for us to watch, it's going to be exciting. If you had to put Dan's money on it right now. <laughs> oh, if it was Dan's money? Yeah. Yeah, Luton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Just to make sure. Just to make sure Dan doesn't get it. OK, 